Beneath the rust-colored skies and barren landscapes lies a haunting secret waiting to be unveiled. Brace yourself as we embark on a spine-tingling journey through the mysteries of the Red Planet. In this eye-opening video, we uncover the chilling truth behind Mars, the once-promising world now locked in an eternal slumber. Prepare to be captivated as we reveal the 10 bone-chilling reasons why Mars is nothing more than a haunting graveyard, a ghostly reminder of a world that once teemed with potential and now lies still in the cold depths of space. Mars has long been the number one place to explore for life beyond Earth. Only a few decades ago, many still assumed that life on the Red Planet was a near certainty. However, after many years of exploration, we now know more about the surface of Mars than the unexplored depths of the Earth's oceans. We also know now that it's highly unlikely any life currently exists on the barren, inhospitable surface of the Red Planet. That's not to say that Mars didn't host some form of life in its past. After all, it is widely assumed that the planet was once home to oceans, rivers, and a much thicker atmosphere than it has now. Today, however, Mars is a dead planet, a lifeless desert world. Here are 10 reasons why Mars is a dead planet. 1. Low atmospheric pressure. Since it lost its magnetic field between 3.7 and 4.2 billion years ago, the solar wind has been steadily eroding Mars' atmosphere away. As a result, it now has an extremely low atmospheric pressure averaging at about 0.6 kilopascals. By comparison, Earth's average atmospheric pressure at sea level is around 100 and 1.3 kilopascals. At these low pressures, water boils almost instantly, regardless of temperature. For an unprotected human being on the surface, this would be deadly within minutes since blood would boil, and if the unfortunate individual tried to hold their breath, their lungs would rupture. While some forms of life can survive these low pressures, almost none of them can reproduce, let alone thrive. 2. Very low temperatures. Mars's average surface temperature of minus 63 degrees Celsius makes it as cold as the frigid Siberian tundra in the middle of a winter night. However, Mars is not always so cold and maximum temperatures can reach a cozy 35 degrees Celsius while minimum recorded temperatures plummet to minus 153 degrees Celsius. It might seem that such temperatures are conducive to life in certain places during certain times, but there are also extreme variations throughout the day. Temperatures also decrease very quickly with elevation, getting much lower just a few inches above the ground. Due to these surface and climate characteristics, water, though plentiful on Mars, is either frozen solid or turns into water vapor, a process called sublimation, instead of melting. 3. Lethal Radiation Levels The average person might not give too much thought to Earth's magnetic field, but it is one of the many things which keeps us alive by deflecting much of the harmful cosmic radiation from space. Mars has lost its magnetosphere because its core is no longer active enough. Because of this, lethal cosmic radiation constantly bombards the surface. Due to the lack of an ozone layer, there is no protection against ultraviolet radiation either, so your sunblock is probably not going to be very effective. These factors combined mean that almost no known form of life can thrive on the surface, although this may not be the case underneath the soil. The Curiosity rover is currently examining this possibility. 4. Limited water activity. Water on Mars is now known to be abundant, although it is only found in the form of ice and trace amounts of water vapor. In November 2016, NASA even discovered a huge underground ice deposit beneath Utopia Planitia. However, long ago, Mars likely had oceans on its surface, much like those of Earth. Today, the only water activity that occurs is the occasional sublimation of ice into water vapor when temperatures permit. With no water activity, there is no rain. All you will find on the lifeless desert surface is frost in some areas, subsurface ice, and large amounts of permafrost in shaded areas. If you drop a bucket of water onto the surface, it will boil away almost immediately or turn to snow, depending on the temperature. 5. Fearsome Dust Storms Mars is perhaps not completely dead, at least in terms of there not being any kind of activity there at all. Just like Earth, Mars has wind, but its effects would be relatively minimal compared to similar wind speeds on Earth, owing to the lack of air pressure. The Red Planet also boasts the largest dust storms in the solar system. In extreme cases, these storms can cover the whole planet, shrouding much of the surface in darkness for days at a time. Dust storms on Mars typically occur when temperatures are higher. These dust storms are often so enormous that they cause drastic changes in the climate and temperature while they are active. 
This would have a devastating effect on the majority of Earth-like life. 6. No large moons. Mars has two natural satellites, though these are both very small and irregularly shaped, because they don't even have enough gravity to pull them into a sphere. For us here on Earth, the moon has played a critical part in the evolution of life. Lunar tides continue to play an important role. The moon helps to protect the planet by dragging away many potentially deadly asteroids thanks to its significant gravitational pull. It is also this gravitational pull that's responsible for the lunar tides, a crucial factor in the evolution of aquatic life and life's migration to land aeons ago. The moons of Mars, named Phobos and Deimos, are only 22.2 and 12.6 kilometers across, respectively, making them rather ineffectual. 7. No breathable air. Humans, as well as almost all other life forms on Earth, are fairly picky when it comes to what they breathe. Our atmosphere is roughly 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Mars' atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide, and it is a great deal thinner as well. The Martian atmosphere is almost comparable to a laboratory vacuum. There is oxygen on Mars, but only in trace amounts, along with other gases such as argon and nitrogen. Mars may have had a far more favorable atmosphere in its past, but as it is now, it is little more than a vacuum as far as breathing is concerned. Nonetheless, the lack of oxygen itself doesn't necessarily preclude life. Microbial life existed on Earth for billions of years without an oxygenated atmosphere. 8. Low Gravity Mars has a far smaller size, mass, and density than Earth, which translates into a lower gravitational pull. On Mars, you would weigh only 37.5% of what you weigh on Earth. While this doesn't present a significant danger to humans and most other organisms, in the short term, it would have an enormous influence on evolution. Additionally, the long-term effects of such low gravity on the human body, though uncertain, would likely be problematic. The biggest problem with a low-gravity planet with regards to life, however, is that it isn't very conducive to holding onto a suitable atmosphere. Mars' gravity doesn't entirely preclude the existence of past life on the planet, but it appears to spell problems for the development of advanced organisms. 9. Minimal Geological Activity Geological activity has played an essential part in the evolution of life on Earth right from the very beginning. While things like earthquakes and volcanoes might not sound very life-friendly, geological activity also gives us plate tectonics, surface heating, and our critical magnetosphere. By contrast, Mars has minimal geological activity. This was certainly not always the case, however. Long ago, Mars was far more active than it is today. After all, it is home to Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, at some three times the height of Mount Everest. 10. Forward Contamination Perhaps the most interesting of all possibilities is the prospect of forward contamination, in which we may have killed off any life that once lived on the surface. With all the man-made objects being sent to the planet over the past few decades, there is a possibility that some microorganisms could have hitched a ride. These may contaminate any possible biosphere that Mars may have. Although it is highly unlikely that any kind of life has existed on Mars in recent aeons, forward contamination could end up wiping it out if it hasn't already. Consider, for example, the devastating effects which Western diseases had on local populations when the Europeans colonized the Americas. As we come to the riveting conclusion of 10 reasons why Mars is a dead planet, we are left with a profound sense of awe and wonder about the fate of our neighboring red world. Mars, with its barren landscapes and desolate atmosphere, stands as a stark reminder of the challenges that planetary bodies can face over time. The evidence presented throughout this video paints a haunting picture of a once vibrant world that has succumbed to the ravages of time and the harshness of its environment. If you found our video informative, Kindly subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our videos.